talk to you today about guns. <laughs> Not these guns. <laughs> but these guns. And I was actually going to bring one for you today, but <laughs> probably not. <laughs> um, so, this is the question. Who here can, eat, can purchase guns? Let me tell you. <laughs> you have to be a Texas resident, you have to be 21 and up, and you can't have a criminal record. Right? Okay. Oh, okay, go on. Um, who deserves the right to bear arms? This guy? No, this is just a joke. Okay. This guy? <laughs> or this girl? <laughs> <laughs> Who would you rather have a gun? This guy or that girl? That girl. That girl, right? Okay. So, one thing that I under let me tell you. One thing that I um, realized in the state of Texas is that you can actually like you can actually carry a gun without a license, but it has to be concealed. So, what that means is that I have to put it under my seat or in my glove box. But the biggest difference between me and that guy, I'm a felon. I am a felon. I got a felony when I was 20. And I have been like suffering from this since. And it's gonna, it's gonna continue to like go with me for the rest of my life, you know? Um, this is a mistake that I made when I was young. Okay, why, why is it so hard for me to get a gun to protect myself when this guy can just like go and just get all the guns he wants. Okay, continue. <laughs> um, there's a couple of laws that were passed. This was the Gun Control Act of 1968. Made it legal for felons like me. Okay, this is what started it. Sorry guys, if you got a felony, sorry. This is, this ends it all. You're cut off, all right? Then there was the Fire Owners Act, which, um, it made it like even worse, you know. It made it it made it hard for like not only um, felons, but even if you had like a misdemeanor, like domestic violence or um, anything that was any any little um, crime, if it had to do with violence, um, it made it even harder. And that was passed in 1986. Okay, so then there's a Lautenberg Amendment, which um, it, even if you have a protective order, even if like you say you get in a fight with your boyfriend and then all of the sudden like you get like some papers at your door and you're like, what is this? And he's like, well, this is a protective order. Well, guess what? You can't have a gun now. And if you do, you're going to get in trouble. That's against the law. So that's what that did. Okay, go on. <laughs> this is a relief program. The relief program is um, issued by the NRA, it's um, National Rifles Association, and it, um, it's, it's trying to give like us felons a second chance to where we can actually like own and bear arms again. And um, that it's, it's basically saying that, um, you know, maybe you did your time, maybe you did your probation, you did your parole or whatever, and it, you have a clean slate. That's what it's trying to say. But it's not working. And I wish it would to me. But at the same time, a lot of people don't need guns back in their, you know, in the felon's hands, you know. But I, but who, like, would rather have me have a gun than crazy people out there that have, like, psychotic issues, you know? That's my persuasion, and that's the turnaround of this topic is that, you know what, like, people like me. I am a single girl, okay, in the state of Texas, and I don't have any family here. What do I have? I got a dog, is what I have, for protection. Okay, when I go to get a gun, I can't. But w w what else do I do, you know? And that's it. I mean, that's, my, that's my speech. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>